It's a new year, which means it's time to write a new book. And there were some pretty incredible stats in the first chapter of that new book. But then there were some cautionary figures as well. It's all here in the January 2024 real estate market update. If you're looking to hear about the Massachusetts real estate market data for single family homes, condos, as well as multifamily properties, then you're in the right place. Now, January and February are all so important because this is the setup to the spring market, which is when we see the peak of our sales levels and as well as pricing. Not sure which analogy to go with here, tennis or football. Let's go football. It's like a game of field position. Sellers want the ball as close to the 50 yard line as possible as where buyers want that ball pinned by the goal line. So where are we on the field? Well, let's find out real quick. My name is Jeff Chubb and I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent that has sold more than a thousand homes. If you are planning on buying or selling a home now or in the future, then it would be a true pleasure to speak with you. Now let's start with the single family data because in January of 2024, we saw 2,088 single family homes sell for an average sales price of $739,000. Look at that. You can barely see the yellow dot that shows the 2023 data set. And that's because there was such a small difference between the sales levels of January 2024, January 2023. The 2088 single family homes that sold in January was only 2.7% off of last year's sales numbers when we saw 2,146 homes close. Now, the first chapter of sales numbers are suggesting that this year may be a lot like last year. And to recap what happened in 2023 is that sales levels were down way down while prices for single family homes in massachusetts were up by 4.8 percent like we said pretty much all last year sales and prices are not two factors that work in tandem so we know the diminished home sales that we saw last year will not affect home values home values are tied to the inventory levels now we ended 2023 with a 6.4 percent year-over-year appreciation rate well looks like we're starting 2024 with a 10.9 percent increase year over year pricing. January showing puts us pretty darn close to 13.7% that we saw back in October 2023. And it blows the 1.7% year over year appreciation rate that we saw back in January of 2023 out in the water. I said it in my last 2024 predictions video that the market crashers pray folks. I don't see how prices will go down this year, especially if we were to get some interest rate reliefs. Now let's continue to dig in this data and look at the yearly sales comparison. As we know, our sales levels were a little short of last year's 2.7%. This month's sales numbers also put us between January of 2011 and January of 2012. That's essentially more of the same as what we began to expect in 2023. Now let's call 2023 the year of the resilient market. It weathered 8% interest rates like a boss and came out looking good with nearly a 5% appreciation rate. I don't think this resiliency will necessarily be the story of 2024. Maybe it'll be more of the same, but the nearly 11% appreciation rate to start the year out is a sign that this year's market will be more about pricing growth than resiliency. And you can thank that pricing growth, well, to inflation. Oh, so close, 2.7% close. I know it's going to happen this year, but as of now, that is 30 consecutive months of year over year sales decline. I know at some point in 2024 that we are going to buck this trend and I can't wait. That's pretty astounding. Nearly three years of year over year sales declines. But as we know, sales levels do not factor into pricing. And here is our graph that proves that. 30 consecutive months of sales declines while we have had 43 consecutive months of price increases. Calling my shot here, if this trend is to be kicked this year, then it would be in October of 2024, which means that I'm thinking that we're gonna see at least 51 consecutive months of price increases until we may finally see a year over year price decline. Why do you ask? It's because the October 2023 sales price data was an outlier and it was well off the charts. Still no surge in inventory. It's actually slightly below where it was at the end of January in 2023. Now the 2,825 units is 3.9% less than the 2,940 single family homes that were on the market in January of 2023. It's kind of interesting because towards the end of the year, the trend for inventory, it was up. Again, prices are all about inventory levels. So this is the main factor that we always need to keep our eye on. And inventory levels are still 6.4 times lower than they were when 
compared to the sales levels back in 2011. Inventory is incredibly low. It's painfully low if you're a home buyer, actually. It's even more painfully low if you're one of those people that are praying that there's going to be a market crash. This year over year inventory graph really gives a better picture of where we are when compared to the last three years in regards to inventory. As of now, we are hovering slightly below the inventory levels of 2023 and above what we saw in 2021 again. Why does this matter? Because we can go back and see what the yearly home price appreciation levels were back in those years. It's our best indicator as to where we are headed in the future. But as of today, we have 247 fewer homes on the market in the same time in 2023 and 884 more houses on the market than we did back in 2022. Quick recap. So sales of the single family market were off by 2.7% while inventory was off by 3.9% when compared to last year's numbers. The first month of the year is making a pretty good case for market conditions similar to 2023. And what does nearly 11% of year over year price growth look like? It makes it look like we are just hanging out there on an island all by ourselves. But take a look at the pricing numbers for 2021 and 2022. In January 2022, we had a 10% increase in pricing year over year. So this 10.85%, it's not so crazy after all. With the yearly pricing trend stick in February with a home price decrease, we're going to find out pretty soon. We have the condo market and the multifamily market up next. But first, any chance that you could just do me a huge favor so it just helps play with that YouTube algorithm. You hit that like button right down there. It just makes a huge difference to me as well as the channel. For the month of January, we saw 797 condos close in Massachusetts for an average sales price of $715,000. So let's start with the sales data for the condo market. Phew. And this is where the data didn't look so good. 757 condos sold was a 24% decrease compared to January of 2023 when 1,048 condos sold. This was a big surprise. Yes, sales levels were down towards the end of 2023, but it wasn't anything like this. I will say that the sales declines have been growing since October. In October 2023, it was a 5% year-over-year decline, and then November was a 7% year-over-year decline, then 14.7% in December, and now the 24%. Year over year, it wasn't pretty, but the January sales levels were par with the levels of January of 2011 and 2012. This is definitely something that we want to keep our eye on. We have been talking about the inventory levels ticking up for, well, the past couple of months. Well, that actually continues as we start 2024. The inventory levels of 1,736 condos on the market at the end of January is a 17.7% increase in inventory levels year over year. It's also a 28.5% increase over the all-time January low in January of 2022. While this is great news for condo buyers, it's probably not enough to, well, exactly throw a party for. Comparing our inventory levels to 2011, when we last had similar sales levels, then that would mean that inventory levels are 4.2 times higher than they are today. Inventory levels are ticking up, but we are still at pretty darn close historical lows. And here's the inventory gap with week over week data. It looks a little different than the year over year because this data is always pulled on Mondays. The condo inventory levels are really going toe for toe with last year's levels. Keep in mind that condo prices were up 7.7% last year. So that's great news for condo property owners in Massachusetts. Now as a year over year comparison, sales were down by 24%, but the amount of new listings that came on the market it was up. This year, we had 1,579 new listings hit the market in January. And this is compared to the 1,419 that hit the market in January of 2023. An 11.3% increase in new listing activity is exactly what buyers want to hear. The solid pricing gains that sellers have enjoyed in the condo market, all well, it continues. The average sales price of $715,000 was 5.9% higher than the average sales price in January 2023 when it was 675 grand. Now, last January, we had a 9.3% year-over-year increase, but those year-over-year numbers would begin to factor in COVID data and the condo market, it didn't perform well during COVID, to say the least. Starting the year out at 6%, it's not bad. It's a pullback from the December year-over-year -year increase of 14.5%, though. We're coming off of a pretty hot fall market for the condo market. This 6%, it's very respectable. And now for my very quick and shameless plug, if you're thinking about buying or selling a house, then reach out to me today as it would be an honor to help and guide you through the process. Now, 
onto the multifamily market. The multifamily market had a great month. There's no segment more happy to put 2023 in the rear view mirror than the multifamily market. In January of 2024, we saw 348 multifamily units sell for an average sales price of $707,000. Yup, sales levels in the multifamily market still sucked, but it's in line with where we were last year. Depressed sales levels, eh, that's the expectation nowadays. The 348 units sold was a 4.3% decrease in the year-over-year -year sales levels for January. Is it great that it was less than last year? No, but again, this is the expectation now. Aside from last year, we would need to go back to the sales levels of 2014 to really be in the same range that we are today. Again, I am neither surprised nor disappointed in these sales levels, but let's take a look at the inventory levels. Sales continue to be low, and so does inventory. Inventory actually dipped year over year to 578 units. So January 2024 versus January 2020 in inventory levels are down by 6.8%. The amount of new multifamilies coming on the market, it was up though, a lot in January actually. This year over year, they were up by 26.5%. Is there were 573 newly listed multifamily properties in January 2024 compared to 453 in January 2023. When you compare our inventory levels today to those of January of 2014, then there are 2.7 times fewer multifamily properties on the market. Now it was a great month for multifamily pricing growth. The pricing trend for 2023 was all over the place. So the year over year pricing growth is gonna be interesting all year long, quite frankly. The nearly 11% year over year appreciation level, it's a big print. But to put it all in perspective, we've now seen year over year pricing growth for the last five months and seven out of the last eight months in the multifamily market. It's a favorable trend for multifamily property owners as they hit into 2024. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs? Again, it's Jeff Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a home in the next nine or 90 days, then I would love to chat with you and just find out more about your real estate goals. And if you know of anyone that's thinking about buying or selling a house, then I truly appreciate you passing along my contact information. You can visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com or find all my contact information in the description below, right down there. If you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here for you. Until next time.